on this morning, amen, and I'm just blessing God to have the privilege to mount this platform and to speak into the lives of so many women on this morning, and we've all come from different places and all walks of life, and we've all had challenges, and maybe you're still facing challenges, but that's okay because God has already guaranteed us the victory, amen? Out of anything that we could ever go through, we have been guaranteed that we are going to win. Do you believe that? Amen. There is nothing that can happen in your life that God has not given you the ability to overcome. Amen. And so persistent women, I believe this morning that God has summoned some women in this house who has made up in their mind that they will not be denied. No longer will you be deprived of your next level in God. You've made a conscious decision that you're going to get everything that God has for you. Some of you had to press your way to get here on this morning. Praise the Lord, made arrangement with the boss, had to bargain with the boss, bargain with the babysitter. Come on, somebody. Come on, amen. You fought your way to this house on this morning. Because you've determined that you will not be denied your next level in God. Hallelujah. I believe that those are the kind of women that we have in this house on this morning. Let's go to the book of Mark, the fifth chapter, verse 25. And it's a very familiar portion of scripture and most of us know it. But we're just going to walk through the text and grapple. They believe that God will reveal unto us things that maybe we hadn't seen before. Amen. How many of you know that there are different new revelations in the Word of God? Huh? Yes, it is. Amen. The scripture declares here in Mark, the fifth chapter, verse 25, it says that a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. And when she heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throng in thee, and said, Thou who touched me. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. I want to talk to you this morning about fighting for your destiny. Look at your name and say, Listen, woman of God. I have determined in my mind that I am going to fight for my destiny. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. Fighting for my destiny. Glory to the God. Fighting for my destiny. You know, we see this woman here who is in the fight of her life and she's fighting for her destiny and for her next level in God and, and but, but, but she had an issue. And I'm convinced this morning that there are many women in this house, whether you want to admit it or not, I believe every one of us have an issue. Amen. In your family, with your children, on your job, with your business, even in your ministry. Amen. Whatever you may uh, be doing in life, I believe that there are many women in this house this morning who have issues. But we're going to take a close look at this woman's life and we'll see how God has delivered her and how he has also designed to 